No parking means no parking. Hey! What's up, my people? Sam Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Evolution the Deluxe Class Toe Line. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. We have Toe Line in his alt mode, Robots in Disguise 2000 Universe Toe Line, Buzzworthy Bumblebee Transformers. On this side of the box, we have lovely image of Total Line. Love the artwork they do for Legacy. On this side, we have Megs, we got Prime, we got Bumblebee, we got RC because reasons. Legacy Evolution on the bottom words, things, barcodes on the back of the box. You have your obligatory product shots, Evo Fusion, and that's basically it for uh, the packaging. And moving right along, here we have a Toe Line from Robots in Disguise 2000, and he is a recolor, slight remold of Scrap Hook, and here he is in his robot mode. He is packed in robot mode. You can see very much in those Toe Liney colors, but let's get in close. Yes, we can take a look now at that chest, at the noggin. Whoop, there's the noggin. It is a nice head sculpt there. Looks nice and Toe Liney. I do quite like it. Got that nice silver there for the mouth plate. Got orange around the visor. But yeah, looks good. Looks good. You got the Autobot symbol right there, front and center. That's a nice coloration again. That nice toe liney coloration. I mean, the mold that they used is fine. I mean, it makes them look more Mad Maxi, but you know, it's it's just the it's a more extreme version of toe line. That's all. He's just taking his job a lot more seriously. That's all. But <laughs> you can see those big old feet here. Moving up the back, got the toe line booty. Same backpack that every version of this mold has had. But yeah, overall, it's toe line. It is toe line. Now, articulation wise, I just do the shape of his head. There is no wiggly waggly, but you do get rotation. Uh, the arms can do a full 360, can move in and out. You got bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow there. It gives you a bit over 90 degrees. You have wrist rotation. You have waist rotation. Legs can go forward that far. You can do the big toe line boot. You can go back that far. Outward, you can do the full splits. Um, you have rotation right at the knee itself. Slightly under 90 degrees of bend at the knee as far as the feet go. Um, they can move up a little bit, can move down, and you have your ankle tiltage. Now as far as accessories go, same accessories that came with Scrap Hook. You got the hook section here, you got the murder wheel, you got the exhaust pipes, and of course you have ports all over this guy, so you can kind of orient those how you want. One thing on my copy anyway, I don't know if this is all copies, but on mine this hook section is a bit... On the loose side, um, this section itself, as you can see, it's cast in that green, but then painted over in purple. Um, the hook itself is is rubbery, it's bendy, um, but yeah, it is a bit loose on the forearm there. But if you want him to look a bit more, uh, a bit more toe liney, you can always just peg it onto his back like that. You know, have that going on, make it look more like the uh, the original things you can do if you want to do it. But yeah, and of course, you can. Come here to his shins and remove these sections here. And you can hold these as little blasters, little toe liney blasters, like so. And here you can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang, and no parking means no parking. Oh, you 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 don't drop that. You don't drop that ever. There we go. <laughs> so there you have that. And now for Comparis Hunt. There he is with uh, his two mold mates here. So you can see how they all look together. You can see the similarities, the differences, all of that good stuff. And here he is with the original R.I.D. Toe Line. Because, is it precious? Is it precious? I'm gonna call it precious. It's precious. Oh, so precious. So that is basically it's for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, remove the accessories. Remove these, remove these. Remove that. Put that all off to the side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the shoulder sections here and untab them, bring them forward. That allows us to drop this whole chest section down. Uh, come back here, open up these back panels. And we're gonna take the head 
and flip it back like so. Once that is done, you're gonna take the waist, rotate it 180, drop this assembly down like so. And then we're gonna come down here to the legs, just gonna take the feet and bring them up and back and bring that up and then just tab the two halves together thusly and take all this bring it up and there you have the front part of the truck all done now for the bacular region you just want to kind of get his arms up and out of the way kind of get these rotated take this chest panel here bring it down there is a tab slot connection right there so make sure you have that lined up and tabbed in because if not things will not line up elsewhere so Make sure you get all that lined up, which sometimes can be a little bit of a pain in the bootox. There we go. Yeah, that's in all there, nice and flush. Once that is done, you want to take the form, rotate it in, and then take the hand and rotate that back out. So rotate the form in, and then rotate the hand back out. And then we're going to fold the arms in. And just push this whole purple assembly in. There's also a tab slot connection right here that the forearm will go into right into this green piece. So get all that lined up. Sometimes this can be a little bit on the fiddly side. This thing really fought me into, into JTI, but hopefully now it will cooperate. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Nope. <laughs> nope. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. I believe in you. There we go. Yeah, nope, and sometimes we can pop off the uh, the elbow there. That happens. That's just a, a thing with this mold. There we go. There we go. That was a little less effort. There we go. Uh, that's how you want all that looking right there. And then you just want to take these side panels here, bring them down. Tab slot connection happening right there. So just make sure you get that all lined up. Make sure that doesn't come undone. How dare you? How dare you? Bring that down. Get all that clipped in. Get all that clipped in. Get that all nice and squozen. And the last thing to do is to plug in all of these accessories. The hook will go right back here. Plug in the murder wheel in the back. Take the exhaust pipes. They just plug in to either side. Right there. And right there. And there you go. There you have Toline in his alt mode. Yay. And it's scrap hooks, alt mode in tow line colors. Now he's just a Mad Max tow truck. You know, hey, why not? Why not? <laughs> but let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You got a lot of nice silver paint right up front there for that front grill. Also silver right there on the engine block. You got that orange there for the windshields and windows. Nice silver there on those exhaust pipes. Silver on the rims. Looks quite good. Of course, you got the hook there, got the murder wheel in the back. And there is the top, there is the bottom. He does roll, as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the other two versions of the mold. So you can see how that works out. This one is my personal favorite because I just love what they did with all this. But yeah, there we have the three side by side. And here he is with the original R.I.D. tow line. You can see how that works out. And it's precious. Oh, so precious. So there you go. And of course, you can do the Evo Fusion gimmick. It's the same as it was with Scrapbook. I'm not going to bother to do it here again. I'm just going to show you the, the box. There it is. That's what you can do. Things and stuff. Stuff and things. Of course, as this one configuration, you can do what you want. The only limit is your imagination. Hooray! for two box tosses in one video. But <laughs> that is basically it. So there you have Toe Line. And um, yeah, you know, I mean, it's just scrapbook with a new head, but you know, it can just be a more, you know, a more extreme version of Toe Line. It's Toe Line to the extreme, you know what I mean? He's not taking crap from anyone. You know, no parking means no parking. And there will be severe consequences, but you know. It's just <laughs> 
<laughs> Make up whatever canon you want to in your head that justifies it. Hey, that's the fun of this. Imagination, use it. So there you go. Now this figure is a Target exclusive, so check your targets, check target.com. You can also get legacy figures from BigBadToyStore.com, as always linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Toe Line, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Sorry, no parking means no parking. Do you have any idea who I am? Ugh, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. I'm Optimus Prime. I'm your leader. You're also violating traffic laws. You know I could transform and beat you up, right? You're also in the wrong continuity. I'll give you continuity.